What up Instagram and YouTube? It's your boy Salty Redcorn and I'm back with another ill-prepared knife review video and today I want to talk about the Ferrum Forge Stinger. Alright, this knife was given to me by Shield Arms as a gift and I'm very grateful as usual and he calls this the bug out killer so today I'm going to do a little bit of comparison and uh, I'll let you guys decide. Alright, so the Ferrum Forge Stinger is designed by Ferrum Forge. It's manufactured by Wee Knives or Civivi and we have a matte finish bead blasted nitro V blade we have a fuller up top we have some jimping here and a full forward finger choil all right we have g10 scales that are shadow boxed around the liners we have a g10 backspacer and a deep carry pocket clip the liners are fully skeletonized which makes this knife very light all right it is also a liner lock. So, the ergos on this knife are very good, right? I love the forward finger choil. It makes a very small knife fit my very big hands really well. I think that the hardware is done nicely. I love their logo here on the pivot. And I love the finishing of the blade. The handle is very comfortable and the blade shape is very useful. It comes down to a very nice fine point. And also this comes in very important that the um, blade is very, very thin behind the edge. So this is a very slicey knife, which is extremely handy for EDC, right? Beautiful, beautiful styling, right? Just an all around very cool knife. Now he calls this the bug out killer and where the bug out has its place is a lightweight knife, EDC knife that's small, compact and lightweight that you can carry in like your gym shorts, right? So let's take a look at the bug out in comparison. This is the bug out CF Elite. Ooh, got some oil on it. Right, this is the CF Elite. As you can see, they come in exactly at the same size and exactly the same height. All right, so they carry very similarly in the pocket. And let's just put this Ferrum Forge down and take a look at the bug out on its own. All right, so you do not have a forward finger choil. You do not have jimping here. You have thumb stud deployment. This has the axis lock that we all know and love, right? Let's look at the thickness of the two. They come in almost exactly the same thickness. And the blade stock is just slightly thicker on the spine here. But the Ferrum Forge is a little thinner behind the edge, I believe. I don't have my calipers handy, but it feels to be thinner behind the edge. And the bug out's definitely a little bit lighter. This is very lightweight, but this is just a little bit lighter, all right? This knife feels a lot more sturdy in hand, where the bug out, you can squeeze the scales and get flexed. They were supposed to fix this with the CF Elite, but it's still possible. It's not as soft as some of the um, standard FRN or GRN models. All right, so if that's something that bothers you, this is gonna be the knife for you. Um, the ergos on this knife are very, very good, all right? You do not need the forward finger choil for this knife. This knife, they've designed with the forward finger choil in mind, so it's almost more comfortable to hold it in this fold grip right here, which doesn't necessarily make a difference, but you lose a little blade edge. Let's take a look at that. Tip to tip, pivot to pivot, you can see the bug out has more cutting edge, right? The cutting edge is a little bit more longer because the full choil takes up more space on the Ferrum Forge. So if that's a problem for you, the bug out's gonna be a better knife. Personally, I don't think I'd be able to choose between the two. I'd have both of them and just carry one on a different day. Um, so I don't know how much of a killer this thing is, but if the bug out doesn't float your boat style wise, this is definitely a much more stylish knife. I could definitely give it that. This knife runs on washers and this knife runs on bearings. So I'd say this takes the cake as far as durability because bronze phosphor is always more durable to me. You don't get any kind of crud that's going to get stuck in your bearings and hem up the action, right? Although that's pretty rare even on day-to-day -day use it's pretty rare that that will happen anyways all right um s30v 
Although this is available in a lot of different blade steels, higher end stuff, S90V, uh, stuff like that. This is available in only Nitro V as far as I know, right? Nitro V is an upgraded D2 and it's a really good steel. So if you like D2 like me, this is a good knife. This also comes in well below the bug out in price. Bug outs are notoriously very expensive and a lot of people say that they are overpriced. Um, I personally wouldn't buy a bug out um, if it was up to me. There's a lot of knives out there that I think fit the budget a little bit better than this knife, all right? So I'd say this takes the cake as far as price, right? This is pretty much double or more of the price of the Ferrum Forge, all right? Um, overall fit and finishing, I got to give it to the Ferrum Forge because it's just an overall better looking knife. I think that the blade is beautiful. I think that they've taken really taken consideration with the jimping and did a really, really good job. Let me see if I can get to focus. On the jimping, all the edges of the jimping are knocked down. The jimping feels super, super good in hand. And I just think it's overall better fit and finish. This knife is kind of built utilitarian, all right? There's no frills with this knife. It's not necessarily a beautiful knife, although I do find it attractive. I do like the blade shape. I do like the handle shape. I like the all blacked out aesthetic, and there's many different flavors of this knife to be had. So if... Um, if you're looking for different flavors, Benchmade's gonna be the one to go with, all okay? right? Benchmade does a really good job with their S30V, so really no issue there. And you can always step it up to a higher, you know, better blade steel if you want to, all right? Both have deep carry pocket clips. I think that the pocket clip on the Ferrum Forge is a little bit more minimalistic. The pocket clip on the bug out's kind of funny looking. Right, but they're both deep carry and they both do their job. This one's definitely gonna definitely gonna be look uh bleh. this one's definitely gonna look more minimal in your pocket, it almost will look like a pen. Okay. So I don't know, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two to the test. I'm carrying both of them today, and I'm doing some pretty hard use with them. I'm doing stuff like cutting PEX tubing and and uh you know trimming some i'm even cutting some door pockets with my knives which you guys probably don't do but i do uh just be very careful and you don't break your tip or you could use a chisel but you know how that goes right so um i'm definitely going to be putting these two to the test and i'm going to let you know which one is better in my opinion or you know i don't know it's hard to really say which one's better because they're both really really good knives and it's really a matter of opinion which one's better honestly so um i'm definitely going to put them to the test and just at least see how they perform next to each other all right so that's going to do it for that ferrum forge stinger benchmade bug out let's see how it goes let's go over my carry today um, carrying the San Martin Omega Homage. Beautiful watch. I did a trade for this watch and I absolutely love it. I have the stag head design wedding band in silicone. I'm wearing the mountain, what am I wearing? Mammoth headgear mountain trucker hat. If you have a big fat noggin like me, definitely go check these out. You can get 10% if you use my discount code. Um, I have the Axial Gear Pinch Bar. I've been putting this thing to some serious use. I've been mentioning that. And this is a great pry bar. I love the shape of it. It's super useful. I used it to take apart a Spyderco the other day and pry the lanyard tube, opening cans of paint, all types of stuff, man. This thing's coming really, really handy for me. I have the iLight. iLight. I can't talk today, guys. I have the Olight i3T EOS. Uh, I know that they just came out with the i3t plus which i'm eager to try uh, but i've been carrying this one a lot every single day as a matter of fact and it's super duper handy uh what else what else what else taurus gc3 extra magazine and that's gonna do it guys all right um i appreciate you watching i love every single one of you and if you like this kind of video smash the like button hit the subscribe button share this with your friends Tell Salty Red Corn what you want to see, and I'll do my best to make it happen. So, you guys have a good day. Peace.